I note that you have shorted stocks which had eyeball premiums. I suppose because of high conviction, I suspect eyeball might not be as relevant for smaller stocks as for large stocks and in indices. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Um, due to lacking options. Market that's wrong. Stock. No, 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 no. If I short something that has an invi- implied vol premium, premium on, a, on an absolute basis doesn't matter. It's, the, it's, the, it's what it did relative to itself. Yeah. And most importantly, are you at the top end of the range? If something's at the top end of the range and has an implied vol premium of 3% and it used to have an implied vol premium of 10%, do I go, I don't like, I need it to be perfect. I need you to be perfect for me. No, there's a whole research component to what we're doing. My analyst got on the call the other day and said, if you thought Best, if you thought Amazon's numbers are going to be bad, wait till you see Best Buy, right? So it's not just, it's not as easy as you need it to be. It never will be. If you gave me everything, including my God and Jesus Christ sitting beside me and told me that there are three specific signals within the signal and no research, I wouldn't believe you. I wouldn't believe him. And I love baby Jesus. I love Jonesy. I wouldn't do it. There's a whole process to this. So these tickers make their way to my list. You know, I, I talk about what do I do after, after I stop talking. I have stillness. I have quietness. You're not allowed to talk to me here until like 11 o'clock, and it's not because I'm being an asshole. I'm trying to, to be still, trying to execute purely on where we are within the range. But these tickers don't come off like... Um, some bullshit sell-side research list or MotleyTool.com, they come from my analysts. Every morning for an hour, I am putting in new tickers into the machine, and I will only accept those that are bearish from a trending perspective. If Brian McGough gets on the call and says, hey, look, which is actually a very good example, because any of his longs, most of his longs, if you bought them, you lost money. So he'd tell me, I like this stock, Restoration Hardware. I'm like, eh, that's not getting on the list. It's not because I don't like Brian. It's not because I don't like Friedman, the guy who runs Resto. I don't, it's not a good brand, or the couch that I have isn't restoration hardware. It's that it's still signaling bearish trade and trend, lower lows. I don't then go, oh, but there's an implied ball this or that, right? It's a component to what we're paying attention to in rate of change terms because it expresses, you know, again, the consensus positioning of the market from a futures and options perspective, which a lot of people for a long time said, well, Keith, I don't know how to read that. Why would I use that? I want a, I want a Bank of America note that says that everybody's bearish. It's so, e- like, go fucking golfing or something, right? That's not how we do this. There is so much work. So much work. It's so hard, and that's why I love it. Because it's really a game for grinders. It's not a game for intellectuals. It's not a game for soft people. It's not a game for people who aren't mentally flexible. It's a game for people who get up. First of all, you gotta love it. You gotta, just like any, you gotta love it. I love, I, lo- I love hearing about stocks and their stories, and I love not putting them on my, on my list if my signal doesn't agree. It took me a long time to believe that. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Uh, and then you, you have a whole, by the time I send you a real-time alert, like it's not like random that I have these batting averages, and there's a lot that gets me to select something in real-time alerts. And again, it's not just the implied vol versus the risk range. Lots of research behind all these ideas. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there, subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.